Hello and welcome back to me running some more abyssals in TU5 Firestorms with Nurgles. Uh, I slacked off a little bit, but I'm getting a few more in, so uh, I'm going to forgive myself for that. Uh, here is the second one. I forgot to record the first one. Actually, not so much forgot to, so much as I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I really should do that. Now's actually a good time for it. So, uh, first room is Emberlands Tezra with a short range Deviant Tower. You don't have to use the tower, but I opted to anyway. The short range do more damage. And unlike Hawks, your guns are not, your, your turrets and tropic disintegrators are not affected by the short range deviants. So you can fly in the short range deviant, have them take a bunch of damage, and shoot them down all at the same time, which is fantastic. Uh, be aware, like this is fairly far away, 60 kilometers from the cache. Uh, you still have to fly to the cache afterwards, but if you look, they're already out of shields, and they're they're not going to get any better from that. So, obviously, this is a pretty quick room. Uh, we just plowed through it, uh, and went and grabbed the loot, and called it a day. It's it's really not that complex of one. Uh, I definitely probably forgot what the other two rooms in this whole set were, but that's also okay. Uh, we'll get there. Uh, plate forgers, they don't always stay in range, they don't always catch up as quickly, so you might have to shoot them a little bit. And first room done. It's just a matter of grabbing loot and going to the next one. Um, frigates are usually a pretty easy room. You have your ADC, you have your two reps, you have your remote reps. Use all of these things. Use your pretty skins so that you're, you look a little better and sleeker as you fly through and murder things. Uh, and grab the loot and go to the next room. So, just a reminder, Nurgles require a lot more paying attention than what Hawks do. I, I recommend Hawks as well, but Hawks, the filaments for Tier 5 Darks, are about six times the price. So, by running Nurgles, you're paying six million a run instead of 45 million a run. It makes quite a bit of a difference. All right, second room, which I absolutely forgot what it was, is just a Lucid Fealties room. Uh, this one has that medium deviant, and I realize that, and it's in a spot where we can avoid it. So we're going to do just that, so we can use our drones a little bit if we want to. And uh, we can absolutely murder things here pretty good. Does not take too long to clean these guys up. They're, so the entanglers and the wardens are absolutely going to shoot your drones. Uh, the spearfishers are also fairly likely to, but a little less likely. Also... They'll stop their micro warp drives, but they don't hit them as well as when they're webbed. So, killing the webs is, is definitely beneficial. Uh, as for Nurgles, you don't want too many of the newts alive as well. So, you want to take those guys out. But again, overall, you can, in tier fives, you can do this easily without having to use drones. You can just use your disintegrators. I just really like drones. However, it adds a lot of micromanaging. But it also adds 300 DPS, and 300 DPS is almost a, a full extra tier 2 frigate worth of damage. It's, it's worth using drones if you're comfortable using them as ammunition, and letting them die for a great cause of getting you money. I, I don't have any appropriate comments to that, so uh, let, let's leave it there. If one of your drones is getting shot, you can absolutely repair that one and leave your drones out. If too many of them are taking damage, like three of them here were getting shot, but then the damage kind of stopped once I killed uh, most of the, uh, what you call them, so the webs. Uh, but you do have to watch it a little bit. If one's being shot, you can keep your rep on, and it should be fine. If five are being shot, you're probably going to want to bring them in and just let them repair on their own. And by repair on their own, my god, wouldn't that be a useful thing if there was a skill that, like, incrementally repaired your drones just by being in the bay. I would love that. I'll take three of those. Thank you. CCP, start listening to this one. No, anyway, whatever. Uh, so yeah, drones are largely in good health. Uh, one's still being shot, so I'll bring them in. There's not a whole lot left anyway. And uh, we're just going to clean up this room and go to the next room. We already got the loot. Anytime you can grab the loot and be on the gate for the next room, bang on do that because that's the way to survive uh if you have the loot you're usually pretty happy if you're on the gate you're not wasting any time and time in the abyss is everything uh maybe a little less for me and some of these but that's beside the point don't worry about that 
Oh, also, I don't generally grab biocaches. Feel free to do it yourself. That is a personal choice. If you have the time, look, I've got 13 minutes left, okay? I prefer to run another Abyssal in that hour, but if you want to grab that loot you have already earned, you go right ahead. That's your choice. So, another uh, Lucid Fealties room. Same thing, not too bad. I don't think that they're in that cloud right there, but I'm going to go for the cash first anyway and then move out of the cloud if I need to. Uh, there's a medium deviant. We cannot use our drones very effectively right now, and this room isn't worth them taking damage on, uh, except if I can repair a little bit of it, but we'll worry about that after. Uh, so I'm not focusing on... Oh, no, I did bring them out. Oh, I think I just brought them out to... Oh, I brought them out to shoot the biocache. Their shield will last that long, then I can bring them in. I don't have to swap my targets with my disintegrator and reset my damage. That's why I did it that way. Uh, but yeah, generally, medium deviant, a little bit too close. I'm just going to leave the drones in and not worry about them. Uh, the nice thing about Nurgles is I am not screwed by small towers in any kind of way, but Hawks can be. Not by this room. This room's easy. But in other rooms, Hawks can be. So just keep that in mind as you're running through these. And uh, yeah, no, realistically, these, these were not hard rooms. Uh, we made good time. Did not get a ton of loot out of most of these, but that's all right. It's still loot out of them, and uh, that's stuff in the, the bag for me. So we're good. I can put that towards buying silly skills that I should not ever buy. I'm not going to elaborate further on that. That's a terrible thing. It makes me really sad that I'm going that way. But, yes. Uh, so I'm, I'm definitely putting away some misc. I have a plan for it. Did not help that I lost Cox this morning. Uh, does not help that this room is just cleaning up a few more ships and it's already running at 150% speed, so I can't make it go any faster for you. Uh, hopefully you're still here. There is a surprise coming up in one of my videos. I'm hoping you miss it, or that I, I might not have actually recorded that one, in which case I'm going to be really sad and we're going to have to do it another time. But we'll find out. Actually, maybe I did get it. Huh. We'll find out soon. I'm very interested in one of my runs today. I, I did something different, and it worked, and I have concerns about it. Ooh, that could be an even better idea. What if you can do that? Further testing required. Okay, so we're going to shoot those things. Get the last two down. Call it a day. Leave the surprises for later. And, uh, yeah, no, absolutely, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll have the links for what I made in these. Hopefully I remember which one's which, or look it up or something. And, uh, yeah, absolutely, there you go. Oh, no, no, I do have that. 125, okay. Okay.